There's a bunch of videos coming out right now about the new C-Log3 and update on the Canon R5. And a lot of the information is really just bad information, not to be a douche, but uh, a lot of people are getting the wrong idea about this. So here's just like a few tips that I want to share for anyone that wants to use C-Log3 on the new update. So let me just get into this. First off, we need to talk about the most important thing. People are doing tests comparing the dynamic range and they're not seeing a difference. And that's because... Yes, C-Log3 does give you an extra stop or two, but you have to know how to expose it properly. So right now we are in C-Log. Let me just open this up for you guys. Canon log settings, so you see we're in C-Log. And if you look at our exposure right here, pay attention to where our highlights are at, okay? Let's go in and let's change this to C-Log3. And now look at our histogram. So you see all of a sudden our histogram, the highlights went down. So I'm gonna go to my aperture and I'm gonna open it up by a whole stop. So we're at F5.6, I'm gonna go to F4. And now those highlights are in, almost in the same exact spot. So the whole point of C-Log3 is it gives you an extra stop that you can push your exposure. Now, most of the time when I'm exposing anything and there's not like crazy contrast within the shot, I'm usually just exposing for my highlights using this histogram. So again, this is the whole point of C-Log3. Gives you an extra stop so you can push the highlights in your exposure, which will bring up the shadows and the shadow details more. I just did a previous video showing this. Now that that's all done with, let's address the next issue. As you can see, a lot of people, if they're gonna be using C-Log3 with the view assist, this shot looks overexposed. Yes, our histogram's accurate, but look at the shot everything looks overexposed. And so I already know people are gonna be going in and underexposing their shots too much, which is gonna give you more noise because the base ISO on C-Log3 is 800. On regular C-Log, it's 400. Um, and so the only workaround you have right now is either use an external monitor, but if you're just using the back of the screen, the only thing we can really do right now is turn the view assist off. So when you see it, all of a sudden you can see all of our dynamic range. Now this might become an issue if you're like in a bright setting and you really can't see your screen. Um, if you're doing like hardcore video on here, you should be using an external monitor anyways. Let's go into the next thing, the histogram. So let's go to our menu. Let's go to menu seven. Let's go to shooting info display, histogram display. So this is where you could turn your histogram on and off. But you see the display size, that's the important part right here. Usually when you, when you first turn on, it's usually on small and you could see that's impossible to read. Um, especially if you're gonna be trying to do video seriously. You just want to go into your histogram display, put it to large. Yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Hopefully all the bad information coming out about this, saying that the dynamic range is the same and all that. Uh, hopefully this video helps all you people. I don't know. Uh, that's it, peace.